right, let it go. All right, we're back with uh, some more beers in us, and uh, we're going to be talking about the two new Mastodon uh, songs. I was that aware of the song that came out, what, last week, the week before? Yeah, uh, Sultan's I just know Curse. The, the new one that came out this week, and Show Yourself. I was... What, that that was the first one I heard, and I was a little discouraged from hearing the rest of the album. I was like, damn it, why do you come out with these badass-looking album covers, and your songs kind of suck? Mm. Why are they starting to suck? But, uh... I was talking to Charlie, and I told him about it. Did you hear the new Mastodon song? He's like, no. I said, check it out. I didn't really care for it. And he texted me back, and he goes, that was kind of weak. And then he told me that one of the guys that normally sings with him, I think his name is Scott Kelly, uh, said that uh, he's like a uh, guest on most of their albums. Um, is he the one that said he doesn't like heavy metal? No. One of them like a year ago said, I don't that was, I'm not that, a heavy that's metal the, fan. That's the singer you, you said on the last song that you were missing. But... Um, Charlie said that that Scott Kelly dude said that it reminds him of Crack the Sky. Huh. So I was like, how how is he saying that when you're hearing The Hunter? When when I'm hearing worse than The Hunter. <laughs> there's some stuff, like, I'm not going to lie. I can't listen to The Hunter as a full record, you know? I get bored with it. But if some of those songs come on random on my iPod, I can get into it. You know, they're not bad songs, but together, they get boring. Yeah. Like, I can listen to all of their albums up to The Hunter. Or up to Crack the Sky, actually. All the way through. Without getting bored. But when I get to The Hunter, I'm just like, I'd just rather hear some of these songs maybe intertwined with the other albums. You know, there's a lot of songs I don't really care for on The Hunter. Mm. So, the first song we listened to was Show Yourself, and what, what did you think, Josh? Because I know you were digging it a little bit. I felt like it was too long. That is weird. It was a three-minute song, and it did feel a little long. It did, because it kept repeating fucking the stuff. The chorus was, like, ridiculous. It was longer than the... Everything else kept repeating. It it the the melody never. It sounded like an Avenged Sevenfold out song. It never uh, kind of uh, did. Never built and never like dropped. You know, like the the, the last song had build ups, or the, the 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 Sultan's Curse we heard had build ups. Show yourself was just this. As soon as it starts, he's singing the chorus. And you're already bored with that the third time you hear it. Yeah, like the the show yourself is very much that newer Mastodon style that's been floating around the past several years, and it's definitely, definitely not the Mastodon of even ten years ago. It's not the Mastodon I like. No, ten years ago. Even, no, even, no, it was eleven years ago when Blood Mountain came out. Hey, that's what I'm saying. It's not the Mastodon of ten years ago. It's not the Mastodon of thirteen, fourteen years ago. Or a it week is. ago. Yeah, or a week ago, basically. Yeah. Um, it is definitely that new style that they've it, been It's going almost with. like they're trying to be Baroness, but they don't but not as <sighs> not as good. <laughs> like it you know what Baroness like, does. I the still cool haven't metal? heard Purple yet. I, I haven't have. either. But you know when Baroness does the the cool doomy metal with awesome fucking guitar licks and cool drum grooves and clean vocals, it works. But when Mastodon tried to do it, it just doesn't. You know, it's been years since I've listened to any Baroness, to tell you the truth. Yeah, but Charlie sa says that green and yellow are really good, and I'd probably need to give them another chance. I would have to, but I remember just being bored to tears with it, but that was many years ago. You were probably ago. at a different time in your life. Yeah, that was many, many years ago, you know, and I hyped it up some... too much for myself. Because it was a double album. Yeah, like, red, red and blue are awesome to me, and was it green and yellow? It was yeah. green and yellow or yellow and green. 
And I haven't heard Purple. I heard the one song, was it Cherry Wine, Cherry Wine, some shit like that. It I was, think that was it. It was all right. It came out but, last year. Yeah, well, last, not last year. But, December you know, of 15. Yeah. But yeah, this is that new Mastodon style that's very, very radio friendly. Like, what, what did we call it? Like, the Black Album Metallica of Mastodon. Like, it is that sound, definitely. A very clean, distorted guitar, very structured, uh, very, very, um, very clean vocals. It sounds. If you were to tell me, if you were to, if I didn't know it was a new Mastodon song, I would not know it was Mastodon. Mm -hmm. I would be like, oh, this sounds like a band that's kind of sounding like the new Mastodon, and that's about as far as it would go. To me, it's not. I don't. I don't really like it all that much. It's. It's. It's all right. Like it doesn't suck or anything. But you know, it's not the mastodon that I dug. It's not the mastodon. It's generic I'm, by the know, numbers. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's metal. Your generic. Generic metal. Yeah, it's kind of just. You know, I know Zach. You're a way bigger mastodon I fan than I am. I love this band, dude. Um. But like I like I like I said, the the hunter really disappointed me. I really didn't care for that one. I I remember and fuck all about that. It, I, like, but I just said you know as an album, it it's boring. Songs separate, it's good. Um, the song after or the album after that, I remember really liking it, especially a lot more than the hunter, but. It's been three years since I've heard it, and I didn't play it as much as I did the other Mastodon albums, and, you know, I was in a different place in my life at that time, doing a lot of other things, so I don't really remember shit about that album. And it sucks. Are you talking about The Sun? Yeah, Once More Around the Sun. That I, one, like, that, those were during it, the it, Eric days. Yeah, it just kind of feels like that shit came and went. Like, I don't even remember... What the fuck was on that? Here, use your lighter and open that for me. Use your lighter and open it. He doesn't know how. I don't. Show I can't him. do it. You need to show everyone how you do that. Watch this, people. He'll open a beer bottle. Joey did this on the show, and he did, demonstrated it before we got into the social distortion discussion. Oh, there was that episode that he did it on? Yeah. Joey's amazing. <laughs> Which one's that one? This is Amber Ale. This oh, is standard. I like time. Amber Ale's. Yeah, I wanted the last stronger beer. You yeah. gotta try that. Uh, you gotta try that Andy Gator. The Andy Gator. I've had Andy Gator. Oh, you have that yeah. shit's really fucking I've good. I've had Andy Gator a long time ago. Well, I'm just. You know now, what sucks, man? The way we got rid of their good beers. They section. really did. They, got they had a lot, lot of good, good stuff, beer. man. I was getting some of it, and sometimes I'd come home and be disappointed because it had like four percent alcohol, but it tastes good <laughs> as shit. Because I got this stuff that was like blueberries. It, Totally tasted like you were drinking blueberry muffins. You gotta hit up that then I looked Audi, at it. man. Then I looked at it and it said 4%. Oh wow. God damn it. Go to, the, go to the new liquor store next to uh, Chef Lee's. It's awesome. It is mm. massive. You Piggly Wiggly, not Piggly Wiggly, but Win dixie has a good selection of beer. Hmm. I'm telling you, that new place has all these beers and more. I'm gonna have to check it out. Um, so that's the, the uh, Show Yourself song. That was... Fairly disappointing. Yeah, that, but I, the I, I, other I, song. I'm not in frame. Sultan's Curse. Kind of. Sultan's Curse is awesome. Yeah, the beginning of it totally reminded me of something from uh, Blood Crack, Mountain. Crack the Sky to me. I know for you, that's cool. It reminds yeah. us of old good masters. Yeah, Mountain. yeah. It, I mean, like to me, it's like half and half. Like. Sort of part crack this guy, maybe not as technical as crack this guy. No, but, but then you get that cool guitar solo. Yeah, but definitely to me, definitely it harkens back to the Blood Mountain days. And I wish, because to me, Blood Mountain was fucking hardcore, dude. And they're using those the old school vocals they used to use. Uh, it really sounds like an old Mastodon song, like. From at least eight years ago, you know, um, I dig I dig the shit out of Sultan's Curse. It's it's Sultan's got me. Curse is badass. It's got me sort of hyped for the album. Like, okay, is this gonna be like half new Mastodon, half old Mastodon? Like, where's this album sound gonna is is where's it going? Like, are we gonna get? M no. Are we gonna get like half? You know, or is it going to be... Nope. 
It's got to be more old school Mastodon y or. You know, it was a very doomy, very sludgy song. Sorry. Um, it was uh, it was very much like the old stuff. Uh, because you, you can't even really call them sludge metal anymore. Uh, but. Uh, this song is very sludge metal. Um, uh, it's it was much better, much fucking better. The vocals were better, the drums were way better, the riff was way better. Um, but that's what tripped me out because you said you heard that one song first. Mm -hmm. When I was seeing this one get posted around on Facebook, everyone kept saying, "Oh, it's a face melting song." And then when you told me it was. Like it was, I was like, why did everybody say it was face melting then? <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to find? I don't know why I can't find it. <laughs> Call any of person. Um. And you've already cycled through them all. He hasn't tried to call me a person, I don't hate like that one yet. This is it. Alright. That shit's so rad. Alright, copyright. <laughs> that shit's rad as fuck. And yeah, sorry, I just I, I couldn't find the song. Which is that? That's Blood Mountain. Okay, yeah, man, Blood Mountain was awesome. Yeah, I just got I remembered like a little bit ago. I bought that album ten years ago. And Fucking, uh, dude, man, like, God. So, tell me I, what y'all think about this song. I just rambled all right, on. Show yourself, I give it a three. Yeah, I, I, I would it, give I it a... I got bored. I would give it a fucking five. I wouldn't even give it a five to my personal thing. Like, I expected more when, you know, this is a band I like, and it disappointed me again. And it really didn't give me hope for this album. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, don't... Don't let this be a year where all my favorite bands that would be fucked disappoint up. Disappoint me again. You were disappointed by that flaming lips. Yeah, because years ago it happened to me before. Certain bands I was getting into were just kind of pissing me off with their <laughs> releases. Because when I was younger, the only bands I really cared about, you know, like you did, we were closed-minded and didn't really have internets and didn't know shit. I liked AFI and Green Day. Sum 41, I still like Green Day. I know, I'm just saying that was your and, big thing. Uh, and Jimmy Eat World. And they released albums almost... Every couple of years. Together. Like, no, oh, like around one, the same time. Around the same other. time of each other, like, literally. And I bought them all and I was like, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> and this one sucks. They all suck. Then I started, like, thank God MTV actually played Mastodon videos. Wow. Yeah, at that time they played Coheed, Mastodon, Queens of the Stone Age. What? That was Queens of the Stone Age, Mastodon. I remember, I remember they would Coheed. play Queens of the Stone Age when that... Well, well yeah, when Song for the Deaf bom, come out. Bom, bom. What the fucking song? I keep forgetting the name of that song. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. They got a new one coming out this year that I am totally hyped for. Twins of the Stone Age. This year? Yeah, they fucking announced that shit. When? Like, a couple weeks ago. I did not see that it was announced. What? I saw that they were recording. Dude! He said, be on the lookout for new Queens of the Stone Age this year. Could be some songs, or it could be an album. Dude. Dude is right. Dude, dude is right. That last album. That last is album. Still dude. one of my most played. Oh my god, I still go back to that shit. That fucking album was good. Holy crap. If I gotta have like a top albums of all time, that would be in there. Of all time? Of all time. Damn, yeah. Because it fit, like, it works for me, man. I, I, I can't stop listening to that it album. It was so good, dude. It still is. Oh, man. And it just continues to grow on you. It's Hell that yeah. good. But we're talking about Mastodon <laughs> right now. But yeah, so what, what did you think about that other song, Josh? Uh, the heavier one. 
the I good say one. So already? No, you didn't. You did. You talked about that first uh, one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. You heard it from Josh, yo. <laughs> no, the red too. shirt. It's <laughs> good. Y'all are Christmas buddies. Oh, we <laughs> are, dude. <laughs> I am green. No, apparently. Red. No, because you know, you know, we got the Falcons at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Rise up. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I give no Jesus fucks Christ. about sports, but, I mean, hey. Well, we live in Georgia. Georgia's, Georgia's in the Super Bowl. Got to gotta say something about it, I guess. Lose. <laughs> <laughs> what? That would be hilarious. <laughs> I can't. I would. I can't wait to go to work Monday if they lose. If they lose, I cannot wait. What the fuck is that? Everybody at work. Okay. All that rise okay. up shit. I can recharge the battery. Uh, Josh has like all the new high tech super, gadgets. I think the world's dead. You're like Mr. Deke. <laughs> <laughs> very expensive. It's very expensive. You're like the you're like our Mr. Deke. Like you have all Mr. the brand Ed. new technology. Mr. Ed. <laughs> um Yeah, that's pretty It does it, it, it's definitely like Blood Mountain to me. I love it. Yeah, it's totally totally fucking rad. Um I give now what are what do y'all rate this song? What 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 do, we, what do you rate the first track? All right, we yeah, had I never say about five. It's about average. No, because it it doesn't the, hurt me that much. Because like Zach's the bigger big big Mastodon it's fan. Just, it's it sounded generic. The chorus was repeated so much. It's what made it seem so damn long. Yeah, I guess what it was, you said it's the bass singer. It was singing the main lyrics. The bass. Is no, it was the drummer, and then the bass it. player came in for part of the chorus. It sounded like there. Okay. But it's the bass and the God. I forget their names. I know Brandon Daler is one of them. I think he's the drummer. Which is the one who carves like the badass wood That's shit? That's the fucking cool guitar player with a <laughs> tattoo on his head. He got a brain aneurysm from the. A member of System of a Down beating his ass. What? Dude, he got a he got fucked up. Like, why did that dude beat his ass? I don't remember. There's they talk they kind of talk about it on the crack the the making of Crack the Sky. Damn. Who? Darren? Was it Darren who beat his ass? I didn't, I can't remember. You gotta ask Charlie. He knows about it. I don't can read about. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Google that. I know Surge. Yeah, I doubt it, it was, was Surge. Not Surge. No. Surge is such a peaceful man. I think man. it was. I think it was probably the bass player or the drummer that beat his ass. Oh, um, I would almost favorite. expect Darren. I mean, I really would, man. Yeah, I felt guy. like the biggest asshole. Felt like the I don't biggest know, man. asshole. It kind of seems like he killed his rock and roll. But it kind of seems like the Mastodon guitar. dude could take that guy. Now to get hit with a yeah, guitar. Yeah, it does look like that dude could take Darren. Darren's yeah, but he can take. Guy. He looks. Yeah, he looks like he can take them all though. Yeah. Nobody in System of Down's like big beefy Viking no, they're not. guys. <laughs> yeah. The Mastodon. Like, like, he, like I Mastodon. Don't have a band guy, called Mastodon. Really not I think they're gonna anymore. be a bunch of little tiny guys. <laughs> like all the dudes in Mastodon have that. They really started that beer metal look. <laughs> the beer metal look. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like fucking the they look, beard, the 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 Walmart just t-shirts and jeans, and they just call look, it beer or beard. You said beer. beer, beard and beer. That just works too. <laughs> I, was, I was hearing beer metal. Yeah, yeah beer I'm metal. saying beer. I'm saying beer because okay. they look like cool dudes to drink beers with. Yeah, but like <laughs> they, they, they have beards. Like, and, dude, you gotta watch the making of Crack like, the Sky like because Charlie, they go. Charlie looks like he could be in Mastodon. That's what or I'm the saying. Sword. Like you gotta watch the the making of Crack the Sky because they go into each one of their homes, and one of them's just sitting there every time he's interviewed or in front of the camera. He's behind his Star Wars toy collection. <laughs> like, he's, he's proud of this. He's got to show you. And the other guy is sitting there carving a goddamn thing into this thing. That's fucking In his rad. front yard. That is fucking rad. Like, it was a, it was a really and good... these dudes are like two hours away from us. That maybe like ten I don't know if they technically live in Atlanta. Does that, does that They're not that even really like from Atlanta. All my guns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the guns I have. They met. They met the one guy, the 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 ginger dude. I keep forgetting his name, the but he has the cool kind of Aussie vocals. Yeah. They met him in Birmingham. Wow. Okay. Well, like so, it's like a majority of them from Atlanta. Like I've always heard they were from Atlanta. Yeah. They, they, Atlanta. Okay, pronounce it Atlanta. 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 Is it Atlanta or Atlanta? 
Atlanta. Who says ant? <laughs> well, then why is he saying I'm saying it weird when I say Atlanta? No, no it's just the way you, you pronounce the A T more than anything you're, else. You're emphasizing just like separate words, kind of like how like students At say cool whip, Atlanta. cool whip, Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. One word. Atlanta. You're, you're doing the cool whip. Atlanta. Atlanta, goddamn it! <laughs> you're saying Atlanta, 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 Atlanta. You can say Atlanta. Atlanta. But that's not how you say it. Atlanta. You say Hot Atlanta. <laughs> say ATL. ATL. ATL, yo, rise up. Dirty South. Dirty South. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that was Mastodon, well, the, the, the well, Sultan's Curse. Give us ratings on Sultan's Curse. Me? Well, what were you about to say? I was giving my rating on Sultan's yeah. Curse. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Asshole. I, uh, Atlanta. I give it an 8.5. Oh. We do points around here. We do. I do points all the time. 8.5. <laughs> no, why? Because it got me hyped. It reminded me of good Mastodon. Especially when I got to hear the other vocals come in. Because when I hear Brandon Daler sing, I get bored. And he's the drummer? He's the drummer. He's he's great behind the fucking kit. He's a fucking beast. But I don't like his singing. It gets boring. He's but, the real clean dude? Yeah, but he was great on Crack the Sky. When he's utilized right, it's good. But if he's the lead in the song, that what that's what was dragging down Show Yourself. Yeah, okay. This one, it was kind of like... A metal Beatles, because three fucking dudes got to sing on it, and that's cool. The Beatles, <laughs> the Mastodoodles, <laughs> the Mastodoodles. Yes, <laughs> that's like meet the that's, Deedles. No, that, that's getting too close. To diddler. <laughs> we don't no, little kids around it's here. Deedles, <laughs> meet the Deedles. Master Deedles. Beat the Deedles. Master Deedles. <laughs> the Master Deedles. It's like masturbating. <laughs> the, the master I'm going to go to the Beatles. bathroom and have a little ma what, Master De Deedles. What is it? Deedling yourself? Master Deedles. Master Deedles. Master Deedles. I diddle my wiener. Uh, so, so what, uh, what do you rate Sultan's Curse, Josh? I do 8.5. Why not? You liked it? Oh, yeah. Do you remember it? Yes, I remember. I remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, I give it. I I would have to agree with the eight point five. It was, it was something from Mastodon that I haven't heard since two thousand nine. You Thank know? you. It was something I haven't heard at all. I mean, I mean, the Hunter. I remember nothing about it. Um, that last one, I remember nothing about it except for the album cover. Uh, and all I remember is they were just very, uh, I don't know, boring? But this, I mean, I hate, I like change. I don't mind change, but sometimes change doesn't work in a band. And, I mean, it might work for some people. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people do like this new Mastodon sound, but me, I'm not it's too It's probably more it. accessible to them than something like... Yeah, because I don't even, I don't, yeah, exactly, because I'm not even a big fan of those albums. Like, I'm a bigger fan of, like, Blood Mountain and Crack the Sky, where it's kind of like... Everyone loves metal. Leviathan. Like, Leviathan is good. Leviathan's great. Um, but I don't get into it as much, maybe because it's just a little too harsh. I mean, I, don't, I, like, I like Blood Mountain and Crack the Sky because they kind of... They they tone it down just enough. The perf they, they they don't turn it down as much as they do here. Yeah, this is much more turned down. Even even the Sultan's Curse is much more toned down. This but is more proggy. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's got it's got I a mean, more, it's a much longer, especially with the long guitar solo in it. Well, it's that still, was awesome. It's still toned down compared it's, to. They turn the it metal feels, down. Yeah, it's yeah. it's more toned down than. Crack the Sky or Blood no. Mountain, but at the same time, it harkens back to those days. Because here's the thing, it's about as toned down as those, and it's like Josh said, it's fairly proggy, but it's not as proggy as Crack the Sky or the Blood Mountain stuff. 
Like it it scratches the surface of the blood mountain and the crack yeah. of the sky. Like it's not hitting it all the way. But I wish it's, it was. It's but to me it's hitting just enough to where I really get more it. of it. It's yeah, the, I'm digging. It gave you the sweet spots, I suppose. Yeah, to yeah, thing. yeah. Like it feels like it would have been a good bonus track on like a special version of Blood Mountain or something like that, or like an EP like in between Blood and Crack, you know. Yeah. Like it kind of feels blood like Blood Crack. That. Blood Crack. <laughs> Once a month. Blood crack on the mountain sky. Um, yeah. But, uh, well, that's, I mean, with a colony you, of Brushmen. Copy written right now. <laughs> Blood crack on the mountain sky. <laughs> it's a Mastodon parody. We'll, we'll find something to do with that title in about five years. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had the concept for Cheddar Pond. It just took six years. <laughs> and you um, know what? Looking back on it, it's like, It's almost been ten years. It has been almost ten years since we started Cherry Pond. It's been three years since we finished it. Yeah, it has been three years. We gotta do the album cover so I can start. You know what's, you know what's awesome? Putting the uh, making the, get the CDs made. I fucking told Holly, I've got a vision, and I want you to do this. I told her the concept of how we want the cover to look, and she's like. What the fuck? Okay. I'll get a sketchbook one day and I'll I'll I'll, I'll draw this for you. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? We're gonna use that. It's gonna be the art. It's gonna be the cover. Oh. Okay. She's gonna do the the the, the album cover. The I vagina. Want. It's gonna be VR in. V yeah, Vingar in the Vagina cave. the very center of it, and then you see the Twin Mountains above, at the very yeah. distance. I want it to look like you can see in the distance. There's yeah. legs behind Vingar. You know, kind of like two big posts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see, I see the vision. Just do that yeah. with super gel style. All the wacky shit and colors and shit. You've seen Super Cause I've got the art made. Stas has the art made for the hol the Christmas album, and the uh, the Monster Solo album. He wants that ranch. We just got to get the uh, Cheddar, Pond. Cheddar Pond finished. No, that way we can start getting uh, like one week do one out al one album, several copies from that website. The next week. So How much is it to do a copy? I think it's. Uh, I gotta look again. It was like a hundred dollars for. Jesus Christ! Clips up. Or was it sixty dollars for a hundred, or a hundred dollars for a hundred? It was some shit like that. I gotta look again. But uh, like if we if we both throw in, you know, it's fifty dollars each. Um. And I'll give you half of them. I'll keep half of them, and we can just do what we want with them. But uh, yeah. It's, I dig the shit out of it. Oh, I thought we were done. Yeah, we're done. Um, oh, but, my bad. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but we'll be back in just a little bit with the new Gorilla song, man. I've been waiting years for this.